Welcome back everybody to another NASCAR Heat 5 career mode episode. Today we've got a little bit of extra work to do as we start a new season. We're going to start a team. Um, I forget what our team branding is for the uh, Extreme Dirt Tour. But we are going to go with the Chevy um, truck for starters. We're going to start out with the Speedway truck here. And let's get an engine specialist, get some extra speed in the truck, and get him max out as far as training will go. Start the work. Just trying to get as much done here as possible. Let me go ahead and jump in and try to edit the car a little bit, and then we'll go from there. Alrighty, so that truck will be revealed later in the episode. Let's move on to the Extreme Dirt Tour. Um, and we'll go with the higher payout per race, the sign on bonus. Doesn't really matter for this. We keep the same design for the Dirt Series. And then um, we're all set there. And now we should be moving on to um, Daytona there. Got a, got a glimpse of the truck. Let's go for two top 25s now that we have our own team. Try to get as much red on the car as possible. And then some black and white as well. Maybe I should actually let me see. Can I edit the car? Let's make a quick change here. Let's go to the base paint of black and then my stripe can be white. There we go. That looks a little bit better. No. Stop it. Select it. Continue. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Fits the channel colors a little bit better. Um, let's get 
a short track car here and another speedway and let's see here we can only have two speedway cars apparently um i want to hold off on a super speedway truck for now let's get some team members in here for now um as we're essentially just going to get two of each uh, department in here as we move forward and then let's get everyone up to a which is 10 uh, let's get everyone up to go just to five for now since our departments are maxed at 75 each at the moment we'll go through make sure we can get those upgrade as well here um, upgrade departments let's get everything we do have a pit crew now so let's how much is it do that um you know what we do have a decent amount of pit stops with the length of races that we're doing so i'm going to go ahead i know it's a good chunk of money but i'm going to go ahead and get those um that pit crew maxed out already and then how much is it going to be Go 85, 80, 80 for the departments. Um, it helps that we've got a decent amount of cash saved up already. Um, let's go seven and seven for those employees, and then we can slowly upgrade those employees like we were um, last year as well and obviously some of this will get better as we move throughout the season again some of these um, different employees upgraded and you know we'll have a better car just like we did with the dirt series I only go with the short track car for now might as well we've got a lot of speedway races coming up back to back and no short tracks for a while so might as well take that when i head into daytona i will go ahead put the custom setup in no need to run laps here i forget when i'll have to go back through and look and see when we start doing those custom setups but then um, at a certain point I'll have to I won't have to put any more in in which case we'll probably just jump straight to qualifying so let me go ahead um, throw in this custom setup and then we'll head to qualifying all right so there are the settings for Daytona not many big changes there um, but a few let's go ahead and save this and we'll just jump straight to qualifying. I think it's going to go, do go, go. fairly well. So, um, no changes to the gearing or anything like that. So, we'll just have to see how it runs here. I think even having the um, owning our own team here compared to um, having someone else's having the team for someone else will help um, with the speed and stuff now I can't say for sure on that or not but I do think it's a reasonable guess that we could see some 
um, a boost in speed because we're in our own team compared to someone else's. So uh, two laps here at Daytona for qualifying. Same thing with Talladega. And the other thing to remember is now that we're in our own team, we get all the profits from the race when we're racing for um, the other team in the truck series, or if, for, if you race for any team for that matter, you only get 50% um, of the earnings for the weekend, as we're going to be really slow here. Um, right, still not as bad as I thought, but count. still really, really slow. We'll see if we can do anything better here, but I doubt it. Let's see here. Um, and then that the extra earnings that we get there can obviously be put towards. Um, hopefully a super speedway car, maybe not a short track car, um, maybe eventually a road course car, but we only go to one road course a year here in the trucks, and then, which actually puts us at less than we do in the dirt series, because we go to one track, but it's All the right, same... Back or down. Track both times. Or right, we go there twice. And then obviously getting the department upgrades made as well. Starting in 31st, going to try to get up to 25th. Hopefully we can use the draft and keep up like we were able to do in um, Talladega. But we'll have to see here. We have to be able to keep up with everyone. Everyone be able to do that. Four laps in the first stage. Um, and just need to be able to keep it on the bottom. Still there. Do exactly what we were doing in Talladega just a couple episodes ago. Still there. And let's see here. Still there. Again, just going to kind of push. We're going to follow white. I'm not going to worry about um, trying to make any moves. Just Careful, going to focus on staying on the bottom because that worked out very well for us at Talladega. Um, obviously, if there's a car that slides up like what just happened, then we'll take advantage. Um, but besides that, we're just going to move for now on the bottom. bottom there is our old car, the 68 that Greenfield is in. Um, the our old truck, rather, is sticking it down on the bottom. The so top is going to check up. Still there. Maybe could have gone inside of white there, made up to Majeski, but we're just going to hold it in line for now. Um, we may need someone behind us to keep us moving here, but we'll have to see. We kind of fall back here after a while, and then we get a push from behind. At least that's what's happened so far. This time we're going. Stay on the bottom. Um, it did look like we had a run. Now I'm Stay on the not bottom. so sure. Uh, I'm just going to stick with white for now. Now he's going to move side. up. I need a push from Stuart Friesen. Get a little bit there. Slide up just a little bit. Careful, still there. And right, I clear. need. Draft to pull me along here and yeah, able to do go. so. One more lap left in the stage. Careful, and 
hopefully with owning our own team this season, we should do better than we did last season. Hopefully not so many DNFs as well. Um, and we're able to either make the playoffs with a one-off win or um, be able to and or be able to make it into the hot seat rides um, and Xfinity um, for next season. So that was kind of the goal last season. I thought we would honestly get in with having a win at Eldora, but it did not turn out that way. Um, kind of waiting here because we're going to be close on fuel for next stage. Nobody else is pitting. Um. I guess I kind of want to see. We were able to make up fairly far in that run. So, not going to pit here. And we'll see what we can do. Definitely need to be able to make it to the bottom here. Just kind of left off the gas there at first. No, I want White to go by me. Thank you. Um, we'll have a truck falling behind us, I'm sure. Start giving us some pushes. And hopefully we can... There's a little bit of a checkup up in front of us as well. That should help us be able to catch this draft up in front of us. Got a car high now. Probably could have used the run from Greenfield outside, outside. to give us a push, but I wanted to stay on the bottom. Are they on your outside? So Greenfield takes the bottom from us. We get another massive push from Stuart Friesen. Um, it's not the best start to lap there. We've got three laps left to go, four laps on fuel, so all good there. Still there. Um, Careful, still there. Greenfield slides up the track there a little bit, gives us the door Careful, to there. work with. As I'm not sure how many wide, we're outside, three wide outside. there. And I'm not sure if we went up into Greenfield on the exit there or if he came down Careful, still there. towards us. Maybe a bit of both. A little bit of contact there. So now the low line looks like it's starting to work. Just need to be able to... I'm not able to pull up to the truck in front nearly as much as I was able to do um, at Talladega last season. However, not doing terribly here. I haven't really been able to gain any spots so far this stage, but we're certainly not losing a whole lot either. So, um, we've got car or trucks moving up. We're slowly making some progress forward as so we stay down here along the bottom. Nima check is kind of trying to come down. We slide up a little bit. Careful, still there. We're going to come to one to go in the one stage. To Definitely going to need to pit at the end of the stage. All right. And I believe we're going to need tires, probably. We've got fuel light on here. We're just trying to push green field. Maybe even get them under time of jet ski, but we don't really have enough speed to push. We've got someone fully connected to our back bumper and we're still not making anything really happen. We get a run and able to move up towards time of jet ski. Um, and a really good run there to finish out stage. Finish 14th there. 
and I don't remember where we finished in our um, first start at Daytona, but looking pretty good here. Everything's looking good. We actually. I think it was a good idea to upgrade the pit crew right from the start. And it costs, what was it, almost $70,000. Um, but definitely helped. It gained us six spots there on pit road. Just need to stick with these guys in front of us. And we're going to tag along with Chastain. Stay on the bottom here going to be my philosophy for these super speedway races we got cars lined up behind us as well it's looking good here and oh they're starting to we lost some help from behind they're all going above us I just need to stick with Chastain yeah we're going to need some help from Majeski if she's going to stay low. So we're already three wide here in this uh, final stage. But we're getting a push from I think that's Gray. Let's see here. Still, there. Still pushing us. Slowly making our way up to Majeski here. And we have now made it up to them. I'm going to push Majeski here. Um, lifted there a little bit. I'm going to get a massive shot from. I think that's great. Slipped the track just a little bit. And yeah, I don't think I'm going to really have to lift. We had to lift a little bit at Talladega. So maybe had a little bit better of an engine there, but I gotta hold it wide open. Alright, stay with these guys for the long term. Um, otherwise, I end up losing them just a little bit. And then I. It takes me about a lap to catch back up with them. So. Currently, it's in an 11th. Just going to keep pushing Majeski unless. He makes a mistake, and even so, we'd have to have a massive run in order to um, Stay on the bottom here. be able to move to someone else. Still there. Everyone's Ten still very much Clear bunched on, up. Majeski was kind of looking to make it three wide. Risky pushing here on Majeski. Could have definitely all, nearly turned him there. But we're all good. So my nose itches. Definitely very intense racing. Never really know what's going, going to end up happening. So we're finding the wheel. Majeski is getting a huge push from us as we've got trucks behind us pushing. But we're slowly making up spots. Um, we definitely do not have a truck to be able to run out front. I can tell you that. We have to have the draft. However, I guess if we run up towards the front, there may be the chance. Um, that we're able to get push from somebody and possibly bring it to the line. Um, in first, but that would be a very outside chance that that would happen. Um, so, he, really this bomb line is working, just running there. We've got eight laps to go, four laps of fuel. Um, Ty Majeski is keeping it low just like we want him to. We've got Austin Hill. I'm not sure. Josh 
Rumi. However you say that name. Um, I'm almost certain that's Austin Hill up in the lead. We've got Caution here. We're going to go ahead and pit. Hopefully don't play some... They played some sort of strategy. We're still up in 16th. Um, we lost 12 spots. But they definitely played some sort of strategy. I want to try to get... Oh boy. Not going to get to the bottom there. We're going to be able to fall to the bottom right here. We've got five laps to go. I'm going to need some pushes to get going. Um, definitely lost some time on the restart here. Still getting past. I'm going to need whoever this is behind me to give me a push up to that group in front of us. Got one up top. Pretty please. Ready please. Okay, or are we going to have to... Okay, we're catching some of the drafts here. Um, but we're getting no push from the car behind. Not sure what's up there. Need to stay right behind, behind Greenfield to have a chance here. Hang on to the draft. But he is slowly pulling away as well. We're still getting no push from the truck behind. And... Wow, that changed things very, very quickly. Uh, I guess I should have popped up in front of some of the outside, outside. All right, you're clear. trucks that were up ahead of us. Need a caution now, really, to be able to pull anything off here. As the draft is just carrying everyone else away. Now are you going to push me? Outside, outside. Nope. All Going to try to pass me. Can't even work with me. Um, Got a car high now. All clear. So that's just really unfortunate. We were in a really good position. The AI pulled a, a weird strategy. Clear high. Clear high. Hold your line. Got one inside. I can't even wreck the. AI either. I was trying to... How oh, cool is that? Rooch. I was trying to hook her, but um, bring out a caution, but no can do. Two laps to go. Um... We set a best lap for the track, or our best lap for the track, this race, as our best lap, matches our record. So good to see progress there. Um, obviously we have a very subpar engine as, um, Miss Angela is now five seconds in front of us already. And we have one more lap to go. Austin Hill is likely going to win this to thing. Um, and I don't think the big one is really programmed into these um these races at all, but we'll have to see here. And no, it's someone else is taking the lead. I'm not sure who that is. The 20, is that Tyler Boyd? I'm trying to start learning some of these names. And it looks like Tyler Boyd, if that's who that is, is going to win here at Daytona for the season opener. Um, let's see here. We cross the line now in 30 seconds. Get a 103 speed rating. Um, 
but ultimately not enough there as we just kind of lost the draft. Um, but we'll bring it back to the main menu and see if we can make any upgrades to the team. $72,000 added to the bank. Um, we get no carware because we had um, a base car to begin with. Believe it or not, we actually had the fastest lap of the race, that past race. Um, I know that sounds a little crazy, but we did. Um, let's look at making some upgrades to our team. Let's get these engine techs up to level 10. Um, I'm not going to worry about anyone else for now. Let's get these speedway cars up to par. We've got a little bit before um, any short tracks and we need $147,000 for a fourth car. We need $24,000 each for the air on suspension, $60,000 for um, an engine department upgrade, and we can probably slowly work on some of these um, employees. Not going to work on that for now. Go ahead and start the work, and we will head to Las Vegas, where um, we're going to have theoretically our best um, truck of the series. And I'm, actually, I do not need to put a custom sub in here because we ran this one in the playoffs so we can just go ahead and head straight to qualifying at this track even seems like I made the right adjustments um, to make it so it wasn't super loose as well what was I'm trying to remember how we finished here last time we ran um, I'm not even sure really how that race turned out. What happened? More than likely, it was a DNF. Um, was that right before? That was the same episode as. Talladega, maybe? Am I remembering that correctly? Um, Las Vegas, Las Vegas, Las Vegas. I don't remember. I really don't remember. I probably should, but I do not remember. Um, All right, that's our run. Not a bad run yeah. there, honestly. 26th with no practice. It's actually quite good here so um, I think that's really showing how much better the car is or the truck is All right. already be ready here green flag, green flag. Looking inside now that I see the sky we almost certainly DNF here maybe both times last year we'll have to see um, Let's see how this truck handles in traffic. I know our three-star ride from last year did not do well, but we'll have to see here what we can do in terms of running well at these intermediate tracks. Last year was a dumpster fire. However, got a car high now. Inside. It may be possible to do all right in these races this year, especially later in the season. We'll have to see 
what we can do here early more than anything. Um, outside, outside. And it's going to help that we have extra cash flow, or essentially double the cash flow, hopefully, or even more, as um, I hopefully don't DNF the car as many times, and that will get us extra money. And then also, um, then also uh, not having the 50% cut of uh, racing for another team. So, currently sitting in 25th, really had racing fairly clean around the AI, all things considered. We're able to run this high line even with trucks underneath us. And... Yeah, so far we're kind of able to just put the truck where we want to for the most part. Um, not struggling yet. Now I know that could change very quickly. But as of right now, not struggling yet. Um... And 27th for the stage at the moment. Let's see here. Um, I will say I'm not doing as well now that the other trucks are strung out. So maybe that's. I'm not sure if that's something to do with the suspension or with the arrow. I. I do think both could be um, quite important moving forward, so maybe need to try and move um, all the departments up together and try and make the same improvements to the employees. I just know that engine power was something that we were lacking on, um, as per usual with this game, so that's why I wanted to kind of do that. Truck feels good. Just need a little bit more speed. Pit crew coming in big here, gaining us four spots. That's going to be huge throughout the season, having that pit crew maxed out is going to gain us, I think, a lot of spots throughout these races, um, especially since I'm not sure if we made a single green flag stop. Uh, we made, I take the back, we made one green flag stop, I think, last season and the trucks. I'm going to try to dive it below, need to check here. Back to the gas fairly early. Or was this the race that last season late that we were able to kind of um, battle with some trucks? That may have been it so bumpy um, that's kind of jogging my memory a little bit as well I don't know we'll just kind of see here um, trying to stay in the draft a little bit here as well hopefully that will help me stay with the trucks in front of me. So there's a little bit of a gap back to the group there behind me. We have Ekis and Root battling in front of us. Careful, still there. Feathering the throttle there just a little bit. We're going to be Careful, underneath Ekis. Now he's going to pull in front of us. Stay in the draft here. Four laps to go on the stage. Ran that corner a little bit high. And... Kind of lost the draft of Ekis. Hit the apron there. We're going to get caught by these trucks behind us now. 
that we lost the draft and we're making a few little mistakes. Block these now. runs. Try staying in the top 25 for the stage. We'll now. see if that ends up happening though. Um, an ideal situation would be a single truck like that gets by us. We're able to catch the draft. Um, we've got slow cars up in front of us. We're going to be able to, be able to benefit off that. Oh boy, they got loose. Take a trip through the grass. That's going to allow these drivers to catch back up with us. Um, no caution though, which is quite interesting with those events. We've got truck high, we've got a block too late. Oh boy. Yeah, we just kind of walled. Hey, I didn't DNF it. That is maybe a first there. It helps that their the inside wall is so far away. Um, but we did not DNF it there. Going to go ahead and make a pit stop here. Um, yeah, no changes. Nothing I need to do there. We gain four spots still under the pit stop and everyone is still in the race. No cars with DNFs. We had that one car, it looks like it had a flat tire that kind of checked everybody in front of us up. But that truck still looks to be running as well. Um, And let me look up here in front of us. So it looks to me like Tyler Boyd is right up in front of us. I want to see if that, if he has the number 20 or not. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to pull up to him and see. He's running the high line, which is going to help me. It will catch up. We're also good on fresh tires compared to when the tires start to wear out here. Really struggling with tire wear, so the suspension probably needs to be worked on in preference over aero. The suspension upgrades are definitely going to help with some of the tire fall off and stuff like that. Um, Slide up here. Boyd may come back to us here a little bit. Let's try to send a draft of white. Boyd now looks like he drops to the bottom. Car outside. Hold your line. All clear. Again, just trying to stay in the draft Inside. here. Outside. Outside. Uh, we're Hold middle your three wide. You're all clear up top. We're clear of three wide. Got one inside. We're kind of getting split here a little bit. We're going to have a good run off. Let's try to get right behind Lazard. Careful, still there. Car there on the inside. Trying to run a higher line. That's not ultimately going to work. Got a car low now. Honestly, may hope Got a car that. Low now. Um, we go green through pit stops, in which case, um, I think our pit crew could be a, a big benefit there, but I kind of doubt that happens. Um, I could also see there being lots of different strategy when it comes to pit stops. So... 
Um, threes across the board on that lap time. Truck definitely does not run as well on worn tires. We lose a lot of speed after the tires start to fall off. So, got a truck to our inside. Still there. Maybe should have gone with the um, two um, All right, top. 30s for at the beginning of the season, but it's all right. I think even that could end up being difficult, just depending on how the rest of this race goes. Um, but we'll see here. Everyone is pitting. The computer gets me slowed down enough there. Let me look here. No, well, we're going to take a risk. See what sort of position. We only gained three spots. Uh, I should have. I maybe should have taken four we're tires there. Here. It would have probably green been the flag, same result. Because I have no idea how this truck is going to handle now. but um, And we will have had the tire advantage. So maybe not the Don't smartest move. decision there. Um, but we're going to try it. Be good to know for the rest of the season how this strategy works Careful, out. Going with two tires up here. here. Always did not want to turn there, um, and now we've lost the pack, and I'm not going to be able to drive back up there. So we need another caution here to be able to do anything and the slightest. Um, and our catch back up. Yeah, we need a caution. Where we need another one of those huge checkups that happen towards the beginning of the race. Um, five to go. Five laps to go. If we do get a caution, I doubt any of the AI would pit. In which case, I'm definitely pitting for four fresh tires, and hopefully the tire advantage would just overwhelm them there. Um, just trying to run good laps here and maybe be able to catch up to him. I highly doubt it. It'd be more for if someone has a problem to catch up more quickly then. This is very much sliding off the corners right now. Um, Don't be enough. Power call the caution. Well, we got the caution, even though I brought it out. Um, repair damage, get four tires. It's overtime, but I need to make up seven spots and two laps then. So, I have no idea if we can do that, even on fresh tires. That's going to be a trek to make. Um, so let's see here. I try and make my way up through the pack. A lot of these positions are going to be made up on the last lap. Oh, we're going middle three wide to try to make up spots. Last lap, hit your mark. Hang tight there, 
I don't think it's going to work to be able to get up to the top 25, but we're trying it. Um, we've got to run here. I don't know if it's going to be enough, though. We're still there. Nope, it's not going to work. I don't have enough speed. I need two more positions still. It's going to be a race back to the line. And we get 27th. And not a bad run from us there, honestly. Um, all things considered, we didn't DNF. And now we'll move back to the main menu. 27th, $26,000 added to the bank. Um, moderate savings on the vehicle. Uh, we did not get the incentive contract. Um, I'm not going to race these races at all. Just doing it for the money. So it's just going to be assigning the work selecting the best car and then simulating just doing it for the money I think this season um, it's going to produce a decent amount for us there and hopefully we can complete some of the incentive contracts so I don't expect much um, I could always jump in and do one race and hopefully um, win those so we've got some insane um, and some contracts. I guess we'll go for the two top 22s. I don't know if we can do much else. So let me look at the team. What we need 24. Let's go ahead and bump both those up to an 85. Um, I'm not going to be able to train anybody this time around, but we should be able to get up to an 85 overall car or truck for this race so um that's going to and we can put him here go ahead and start the work and I'm definitely going to need to put in a custom setup for this track so let me head to the track and do that and then I'll um, run some qualifying. Alrighty, so there is the custom setup for Atlanta. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make. I'm going to go up seven clicks there on the wedge just because I know how this track can run in general. Let's go! Straight and to qualifying as I've already done at least some practice on all the tracks in the series so we know how they're going to run um, and then once we get into Xfinity series which I know is going to be a little ways away um, but in that case, I will probably do similar to what I did um, here in the trucks, which is probably run um, a little bit of practice for the first season, and then from there on just um, do some qualifying no need to run really all that much all right, practice Back or down. at um, tracks that we already pretty much know um, qualified 24th there with a race school position of 22nd starting 23rd right, to the green. and right. consistency is just going to be Three key down. here Throttle management, and we have nine laps in the stage. 
continue right, to move here clear. through the episode. Um, probably actually going to be a fairly long one as I've not DNF'd yet in this episode. Careful, and that is quite the rare occurrence that I do not DNF um, at all. Tyler Boyd is Gotta the 20, high, by the way, just passed him. Side. We've got a very fast car go back by underneath us. Um, definitely going to feel a lot safer at this now. track once everyone kind of spreads out. Hold the wheel. Clear high, bud. We've got truck down underneath us. Mr. Boyd into the back of him just a little bit, just a little love tap. All right, you're clear. Uh, we got into the wall there. Outside, outside. Whoa. You're clear. Um, definitely lose a lot of time and speed by scraping the wall. Let's give. A push here. Hopefully, you can drag us back up to that pack a little bit. Allow us to catch up. We're kind of using them as a drafting partner, though. So, if we can give them a bit of a push to help carry us there, would be great. Kind of. Gives him a nudge forward. And then we're able to draft off five of him go, go. a little bit as well. We've got five laps left in the stage. Um, I'm not sure if it's... I know Old Atlanta was very bumpy. I don't know if it's just that that I'm dealing with. Or also the fact that with these um, custom setups that the ride height... Is always lowered all the way down. I mean, it could be some of that as well, but um, the bumps really throw the car around here. So, wow. Especially getting into one and two, I've noticed it quite a bit. So, we get into Dean there a little bit. And tire wear is honestly pretty even here. Um,. I'm not necessarily fighting being loose at all, at least yet. Um, could probably go up on the wedge a little bit based on the tire wear. We're going to be very close at running to the end of the fuel run on a set of tires. Uh, we've got cars pitting as well, so very interesting there. Um, it does seem like I remember a glitch in Heat 4, which again, NASCAR Heat 5 is a near copy and paste of NASCAR Heat 4, that the AI pitted early compared to what we could do at Atlantis. So we'll have to see here how the tire wear affects pitting. Um, we've got one lap to go, so I think we're going to be fine for stage one. I'm not worried about that. Um, I'm actually going to go underneath Dean here. I think we're actually a little bit faster. I may have been um, slowing myself up by staying behind him. So we're going to get by him, maybe. We have a bit of a run down the outside. Um, and yes, yeah, very close there on the tire wear. Definitely hope that stage two isn't any longer than that, because I don't think we can go any longer on the tires in general. Um, cancel that. So I'll reset. 
Um, I'm going to go up just a little bit. I'm going to go up a click on the wedge. Try to balance out those tires just a little bit more. And we gain three spots from the pit crew. We'll see what we can do here. Um, didn't feel bad that run by any means. We had the little um, adventure with tagging the wall a little bit. Got us separated from the lead pack. We've got eight laps in stage two. So that's very nice there. Should be able to go a full run here on the tires. Got a massive run down the back straight with the draft. Um, caught the apron there. Slipped the track just a little bit. Wow. Um, I did not expect to be running quite this good this early in the Got season. Um, Got one inside. We've got a tractor inside. Kind of left it there early, trying to manage. Got a little bump from Gray there. Got out of the gas to keep it off the wall. Six laps left to go. In stage two, running up the track just a little bit. Kind of getting trained here on the inside. We've got good speed though. Um, in general, just struggling a little bit, not having the inside lane. And not having some of that open track like we were able to have towards the end of stage one. But we're holding on here for now. Going to have a run on top here. As I hit the apron, um, I like gas there a lot to avoid him the outside wall. So lost some track position there. Got another truck to our inside. And I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but I'm in quite the fight with the steering wheel at this track. Definitely a workout. Um, I don't know why I was helping Akram. Still kind of have a little bit of a grudge on him from last season. Um, and we are right back behind Dean once again. Going to go underneath him here. Three laps to go. End the stage. I also wonder that wedge adjustment that I made hasn't really helped the tire wear. So I think next stage we will go back down on the wedge. We've got. Oh, we about got clipped there. Um, may have clipped a few guys behind us. We're gonna go back down on the wedge just a little bit here. Um, so we go two clicks. See if we can get to rotate center of the corner a little bit better. Gain five spots there. Coming to the green. Under Ready. the caution and. Let's see here. We've got 13 laps to go, 11 laps Still worth there. of fuel. But we definitely cannot make it to the end of the fuel run on the set of tires. So, um, it's going to be a matter of when do we pit, not if we pit, as we definitely cannot run slow enough to save um, two laps of fuel and then however many laps we need on tires. So, um, Feather and Throttle still here. We're gonna push 
from is that Todd Gilliland? Leaf so. Um, ran it a bit deep in the three and four, but I do think that um, slight wedge adjustment is helping us. We're up in ninth somehow, but we've definitely got a hungry pack back behind us here. As we keep it off the wall, we're getting a push here. Going down in the three and four, hopefully that doesn't messes up too bad we're keeping tabs here on the leaders as well so good to see that however in the long run I'm not sure how this is going to work but we'll give her a shot and again another push I could take these pushes they're helping me out quite a lot um, sticking with these lead groups but I don't appreciate when it's off the middle of the corner um, nine laps to go need to make it probably to at least um, five to go on these set of tires Definitely need to make it the seven to go, but probably be best if I could make it the five to go or so on these tires just to be safe. Uh, any green white checkers, anything like that. But we'll kind of use the AI as a guide, I think. That or look for maybe we'll go as far as I can on the tires. While um, really just looking for a caution because the AI were pinning a little bit early there that first stage when we went the full length. So we'll have to see there. Um, we're on the bottom of three wide. We're battling for sixth place. Um, definitely do not have the speed. Compared to these other drivers still. Um, but it's definitely a lot better than what we were dealing with last season. And I do like the decision to go looser on the setup. And we've got a caution. Must have happened back behind us. I don't see anything in front of us. So perfect there. Four tires and fuel is going to be. We lost nine spots. So I'm not sure how anybody in front of us was able to take two tires I definitely wasn't gonna go two tires but that may allow for some big gains to be made um, on this restart as we're going to have some fresh tires moving forward um, And we're still in a good spot to complete our goal position for the race. Yes, we definitely have some fresh tires compared to these guys. We're going to try to drop down low. We've got two laps to go. Let's see what sort of finish we can pull off here. But protect the car slash truck at all costs. Let's get back in line here. Yeah, I'm not sure what. They must have taken two tires up here towards the front. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, but we're definitely much faster on our four fresh tires compared to whatever strategy they pulled. As they run wide, I 
really didn't want to do that. Um, I was trying to keep it off the wall. But it's going to be... See if we can gain anything off of turn four. Does not look like it. It's going to be an eighth place finish at Atlanta. Really big there. Um, and see how loose the car or the truck got there. And yeah, we'll move on to the main menu and wrap things up for this episode. $32,000 added to the bank. And only moderate driving. Not the end of the world there. Um, getting some compliments here. And a key thing to note there as well is not any complaints on our driving style. So good there. Next episode, we are heading off to Homestead Miami Speedway. And um, let's go. No, we'll make um, some upgrades next episode. As I know this one will already be decently long. So let's take a look. Settings still, still on legend difficulty, full damage, DNS enabled, 25% race, four times normal, tire wear and fuel consumption, all strict yellows, uh, quick qualifying, multi stage races, and we ain't changed anything, but yes, save and continue. Um, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. Um, Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you agree with all the decisions we kind of made there at the beginning of the episode. But definitely going to be a lot more fun in this season of trucks compared to the last season. It should be a lot more competitive and should have a lot of good racing. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And we'll see you in the next one.